I look crazy. It's fine. I kind of am. Welcome to my channel. My name is Kat, and today I am very excited. Couple things. I had a chemical peel a few days ago, so my skin, it's peeling right now, and I can't wear any foundation. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're not new to my channel, you know that I have really bad allergies and that this one eye, look at it even right now, I'm like... So, you see the puffiness underneath this one eye? Of course you do, because my one eye is tiny, and it's super puffy all in here. This one's not too bad. You can even see in my makeup that I had issues with my allergies today, and my eyes were watering like crazy, so some of my makeup came off, and because my skin is peeling, I can't wear foundation or anything. So, I do not look adorable today, but you know what? We're on the road to it. This skin is going to be refreshed and beautiful. I saw a commercial for this a few weeks ago. It's called Plexiderm. And apparently, from the commercial, it is supposed to just frickin' magically take out any bags under your eyes or wrinkles and all that stuff. It says visibly reduces under eye bags and wrinkles. Yes, please. This is what people are saying that have used it, apparently. The wrinkles and bags under my eyes made me want to keep sunglasses on. Now I don't have to hide behind my shades anymore. I love this product. Here are some pictures. Like, look at that chick. Let's do that. Okay. That dude. Hello. Wash and dry the application area thoroughly before I did that. Prime the bottle. It usually takes about 10 to 15 pumps until product begins to flow. Start small. About half the size of a pea is enough to apply under both eyes. Relax. Rapid serum takes about 10 minutes to dry. It's best to remain expressionless during this time. That's going to be so fucking hard for me. I'm horrible. I'm one of those people that an infomercial starts and I'm like, this is dumb. Ten minutes later, I'm like, hello? Yes, I'll take one in every color. Yes, please uh, charge my credit card. Fast as ship. Uh, thank you. Goodbye. That's what it looks like. Oh, hello. Oh, shizen. I, okay, that's, this is what it looks like. Um, let's do this. Let's do this. Uh... Is that right then? I think I used a lot. It says that I can put it on wrinkles. So let's do this big dude that I got going on here. They said a pea sized amount is enough for both eyes and I got enough for like my whole block going on here. If my neighbors want to come over right now and do a little under eye treatment. Let's go, uh, yeah. Is anything happening? Is it happening? What's happening? Okay, I'll see you in 10 minutes. Do I look better? I don't, I don't know. Um, it has, I don't know if you can see. There's a weird fucked up film around here and here, but I also put way too much on. But I feel like, oh, uh, my eyes, maybe my eyes are just different sizes. But the puffiness, I think it looks like it went down. It feels really tight. It feels tight. I don't know. I think it friggin' did something under my eye. What do you think? Can you please tell me? Like, please actually comment. Because nobody really comments and it hurts my feelings. Well, I'll do another check-in in a couple hours here and... Oh man, I gotta go to work like this. It's fine. Right? Yeah. Goodbye, small eye. Oh, you're still there. It's fine. Okay, I'll check in with you guys uh, in a couple hours. Your girl is looking rough as shit right now. So it has been five hours since I put that shit on my face. And again, remember I had a chemical peel, so my skin is peeling all over the place. Um... 
I don't think anything right now. I put on way too much before. I, um, my eye looks very puffy again. But I feel like this weird cast on it. Like I can feel it. I like a film. Um, I think it did a little something something, but I put way too much on and I don't think it's fair to give this product a or because my face is, is peeling right now. I'm also very interested to see what it would do with foundation over top of it. So maybe tomorrow we could try it. Yeah, so let's try tomorrow. I'll see you in the morning. Oh, it's super early. I can't find any information whether you can put this under makeup or not, but we're going to try it. So I took that wee amount. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like that's not enough, you know? I could definitely feel it like tightening already. Hello? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna wait 10 minutes and then have this coffee. I'm tired. It's been about 10 minutes and this eye actually does look a little bit better. And that line that I always get, he looks a little bit better too. My one eye, maybe it just is a different size than the other one. I thought it was just because my eye was swollen all the time, but I think it's because my eyes are two different sizes. But it still gets very puffy and I feel like it's not as puffy. Now the real test is a foundation. So let's put some foundation on. Huh. Did it work? Kind of. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I think it helps a little bit. It didn't seem to do anything crazy with the foundation over top of it. Is it like $60 worth? I don't know about that. I'm still really on the fence about this. Yeah, this eye is still super puffy. My frowny line or expression line or whatever the hell that guy is, it seemed to help a little bit. I think it's just okay. It's not magic like the commercial that I got sucked into, but it's, it's okay. I can see a little bit of a difference, but I'm not blown away by it by any means. I can't tell you if I recommend this or not. I would love to see if one of you guys have before and after pictures or if you have ever used this. Please let me know because I'm very curious. I honestly think I'm just going to go get Botox because I'm tired of having one eye like this all the time. I just thought it would be... The commercials just made it seem like it was like so life changing and it's only barely noticeably tiny bit changing. So not worth the $60. It did take a while to get here as well. It took almost three weeks. Didn't love that because I was excited to have no baggage and I still got some baggage. I mean my skin doesn't look horrible. But, it's not what I thought. Please leave me a comment if you see a big difference and I'm just being crazy. Or just leave me a comment in general because I love to hear from you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye!